Hi, Robin with OxyDry. And today I uh, I thought it might be uh, interesting to uh, do a little comparison between the Shark Navigator and the uh, workhorse, which is sitting right over there. Uh, this carpet is my own carpet, my own living room, and it's uh, nine years old, I guess. Um, and over the last, uh, well, nearly nine years, it's had uh, a lot of activity in here with, uh, we had three, actually four dogs. There's uh, some pictures of our doggies there. Um, we lost our all of our dogs in the last couple of years. Uh, the last one was about, um, let's see, well, seven months ago, and uh, another one bef two months before that, and then one, I guess, about six months before that, and then another one a year or so, a year and a half before that. So that's the activity that's been going on in this carpet. And we would, um, almost every evening, um, I'd get down on the, on the floor with my doggies and we'd we'd uh, play with throwing things around and wrestling with, you know, tug of wars and stuff like that. So anyway, that's the activity that's gone on this carpet over the last, uh, well, as long as it's been here, actually. And I would clean it every few months because... Well, it needed it because of the dogs rolling around on it and jumping and getting their, um, you know, uh, dirty feet sometimes. And there were a few accidents, up chucks and a couple of poops and a, even a few little peepees here and there. Um, but anyway, as you can see, the carpet's actually in overall very, very good condition. This is a frise, frise. it's a continuous filament um, nylon. And um, we put this in the, in the house when we bought the house. So... Um, and of course we sit in here every evening uh, so it does get a you know a fair amount of uh, activity and, and uh, as i mentioned over the previous nearly nine years uh dogs on here every single day anyway i thought um, that it would be interesting to do a little comparison uh between these two vacuums they're both cyclonic vacuums obviously and the uh, shark is um, the shark is only about six or eight months old, actually. Um, and initially, my wife didn't actually use it that much because we still have the the Sanyo. Uh, but she's in the last, I guess, the four or five months. Last four or five months, she she basically used this almost exclusively on this carpet. And um, it's a there. It's a good vacuum. It has lots of power. Um, I'm quite impressed with how well it works. It has a really good power head um, and um, seems to have a lot of suction, a lot of airflow too. Um, I don't know what the actual rating is, but um, it's quite an impressive little vacuum. Um, seems to be well made. Uh, it does have a really good power uh, brush roll on there and it spins really good and you can, I don't know if you can tell, but you can actually see if you get anything jammed in the brush roll. So. Um, you know, hairs or whatever whipped or, uh, wrapped around it, and that's actually never happened. Partly because it's got that little, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got that very clever little, uh, it's like a little nylon thing or plastic thing right there, and it kind of uh, breaks up any hairs and, and then they end up getting sucked in. Anyway, that's it's a good design, uh, so we never had a problem with it clogging. Um, and um, I've cleaned it out, it's in good. Um, you know, it's clean, and I thought it'd be interesting to compare if, you know, I'm going to vacuum the carpet with this, and then I'll use the, the workhorse, and we're going to see what happens. And this carpet was vacuumed yesterday with the shark. My wife vacuumed it. Um, and so, you know, we spent a couple of, three hours here last night just sitting up on the couch there, whatever. That's all the activity that's gone on in in this room since she vacuumed it yesterday. But I thought, well, I'll vacuum it again uh, right now, and we'll just see uh, if I pick anything up, and then we'll try the, sh the uh, workhorse and see if there's any, any more that be picked up. So here we go. It's um, it's actually a, 
pretty easy vacuum to move. Um, it does sort of, on this carpet, it, it, there is certainly some resistance because it's digging down into the pile. It's a fairly long pile. You can see it's almost, it's not really a spaghetti shag, but the frisees do have quite a long pile, but it's a loose, quite a loose pile. So, uh, but anyway, it does, uh, it vacuums quite well on, on, even on this carpet. It doesn't have an adjustable uh, brush roll, these vacuums. So it just kind of floats along. The um, workhorse does have a um, adjustment on it, and and this vacuum is. I don't know if you can tell with the uh, camera, but it actually is uh, really quite. Um, it's not very noisy. I wouldn't hesitate recommending a. Uh, a shark vacuum to my customer. I actually do. Um, I think they're, for the price, I think they're a good vacuum. I think that the Dysons, which is what everybody seems to, you know, talk about, getting a Dyson or whatever, um, I'm sure they were fine, but um, I've cleaned so many carpets and vacuumed so many carpets where I pulled out so much junk. Um, it, although they owned a Dyson, so um, I guess that, what I'm trying to say is the Dysons don't impress me that much because for a few hundred dollars more I don't think you're actually getting necessarily a better vacuum as far as power goes I'm, I'm, of course I'm talking about the new Dysons not the one that's sitting behind me which is Mr. Dyson's first design from the 80s <laughs> And uh, my wife uh, vacuums this carpet uh, regular. It does get vacuumed at least, well, it gets vacuumed every week anyway, for sure. When we had the doggies, that was getting uh, vacuumed maybe a little bit more. And you know, every time, every time she vacuums the carpet, she gets, she gets junk in this canister. And that's the advantage of using um, these type of vacuums that you can actually see. It doesn't necessarily mean they're actually picking up more than, say, a bagged vacuum, but being able to see certainly um, helps you to, un to know what you're actually picking up, obviously. I covered all the all the, the floor there. Did I pick anything up? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, there is some junk in there. So let's uh, dump it in here. much but now we're all curious what will the workhorse do one of the nice things about the um, the shark is that getting that the um, canister off is so easy and simple and it's very easy to clean it out and that's um, it's got such a simple cyclonic set up in there so uh, that's one of the nice things about it okay let's uh let's try this one out and of course this is the uh, 
the Dyson vacuum that Mr. Dyson first designed back in the 80s. And um, it has a very simple cy cyclonic design, much simpler than his newer vacuums that he's making now. And um, as if you're a carpet cleaner and you're watching the videos where more and more carpet cleaners are using these, um, it does uh, it does quite impress with the, how uh, much dirt it's picking up out of carpets. So. Anyway, let's just give it a try and see what we think. It's a little bit noisier, but not a lot. It's certainly uh, quieter than, uh, than my Kirby, but um, I think it's probably a little bit noisier than the hush tone, especially when the hush tone's on its uh, low power setting, and then it's really quite uh, quiet. <laughs> but it's not bad. I would wear earplugs with the Kirby, but I don't bother with uh, when I'm vacuuming with this vacuum, or I didn't bother with the hush tone either. I don't think there's enough. It, it's just not that loud, I don't think. Now this actually does move on this carpet easier than the uh, Shark. Um, because it actually is putting uh, some of that weight extra on the front wheels that adjust the height up and down, of course. It just seems to move a little bit easier. I do like this solid uh, vacuum uh, with the foot attached without swiveling. I don't like swiveling, the swiveling feeling on the shark. Um, I just don't, this is my, my preference. I don't think it's, uh, it's not a deal breaker by any means. It's just I, I do prefer the, the um, without the swivel. And oh, by the way, uh, you can see that this carpet, which is about nine years old, and has only ever been cleaned by the oxy dry process, looks like a new carpet. It just looks fantastic. There's no uh, traffic lanes, there's no buildup of soil. It's never been steam cleaned, and it never will be. <laughs> and the carpet looks just great. You know, when you vacuum it, it actually, you can't even see. There is a little bit of wear in front of the couch there, but for nine years old, is uh, to be expected. You're rubbing your feet there, but, you know, the carpet just looks great. No discoloration. There's no permanent staining at all. No, no odors, even though there has been accidents on the carpet. I need to go over here just a bit more. So, the question is, did I pick anything up?
the answer is. No, but I'm going to do a lot here. Yes, I did. A little bit. I mean, not very much. But there's a little bit there. That So the shark has vacuumed it twice. Once yesterday, and then today. And then I just used this vacuum. And I got a little bit more dust out. Okay, that's not a... Not actually surprising. I mean, I'm pretty sure that you could vacuum a carpet repeatedly and still get junk out, but... Okay, fair enough. And of course, what are we going to do now? We're going to do the shark again. And yes, I can definitely feel that this is requiring a little bit more uh, effort to move it on this carpet because uh, it does slide along on the bottom plate without any. I mean, it, there, there's there's obviously wheels on the bottom of it, but they're sinking into this uh, a carpet a little bit, so it does take a little more effort to push this vacuum on this carpet. Even though it's actually a lighter vacuum. A little bit lighter anyway. To that swivelly effect. I don't like that. I'd rather do the twist the whole vacuum. Just my preferred preference. Maybe I'm just used to it. Actually, what I think, what I think is that it, I feel that uh, the effort required in the wrist. Um, and uh, on a this on the on the uh, carpet like this, it actually requires effort to push it to turn it. You have to twist your wrist like that, and actually, I feel that in my wrist. So I actually think this is requires more effort to um, maneuver it, not just push it, but to actually get it to change direction. It takes a bit more effort on the arm. I don't think that's a steel breaker at all, but. That's just my observation anyway. We're getting near the end. I do like the shark though, I mean, I think it's a good vacuum, and as I said already, I, I do, I don't hesitate to recommend a shark to my customers. They're way cheaper than a Dyson, and I think they work at least as well. I'm talking of the new Dyson, of course. Not the one that's sitting right there. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Did 
we pick anything up? And the answer is... Mm, maybe a tiny bit. Let's see. I'll dump it in here. Oh, a little tiny bit. So, <clears throat> what is the answer? Uh, the answer is that I did. I picked up more after the shark had vacuumed twice. I did pick up more with the the workhorse. I don't think it's a night and day difference, but um, I think uh, I, I'm quite sure that the, the workhorse is is better power wise. Be interesting to do um, a comparison where I actually had a, a really soiled carpet and I'm getting that all that dust streaming into the uh, workhorse and I have this vacuum along with me, although I actually don't carry that vacuum with me, but it, that would be an interesting comparison. Wouldn't mind trying that maybe one day, we'll see. But anyway, I thought that that would be an interesting little exercise and, and uh, for those of you who might have been wondering, uh, does how does the um the two two cyclonic type vacuums compare um i again i i'm i am liking the workhorse i think it's a a good vacuum i like the way it maneuvers and i'm certainly liking the way it removes you know dust and dirt out of the carpet so um anyway i'll be back tomorrow cleaning with it and uh i, I have two actual repeat customers tomorrow so it'll be interesting to see how, how it performs on those carpets. So anyway, have a good day.